Hey guys, Nick here. So today we'll be taking a look at this Pioneer 1005. But we're not gonna be focusing so much on this Pioneer. We're gonna be focusing on the accessories around it. Now a lot of the accessories you're gonna find on this one right here are also available on the smaller models, such as the 700 and the 500. Of course, they will be smaller and built to fit those models, but they're gonna function and look basically the same. So let's get started and talk about what accessories this one has. Alrighty, well the owner was kind enough to write me a nice long list of all the accessories that he has put on this. This is going to take a minute, so you might want to sit down. We got the full roof. We got the glass windshield with the wiper. We got the full doors with the roll-up glass. We got that mid divider with the sliding rear window. We have a front mat, bed liner for the back, which is a big drop-in tub. We have under seat storage, which is an accessory on these earlier ones. We have an air cleaner upgrade. And of course, you can't forget the worn winch up front. Front and rear bumpers, front and rear A-arm guards, switch panel with voltmeter, side mirrors, rear view mirror, deluxe wheels and tires, and rear door cup holders as well front door cup holders, and some accessory lighting in the mix. Now that was a huge list of accessories. So let's start up front and take a look at what some of these accessories are and what they cost. Now, something I wanna quickly throw in as we get into this video, because I'm gonna talk a lot about different pricing when we go through here, and some of those prices might scare you a bit. So let me explain. Those prices that I'm telling you are strictly right off of Honda's website. So if you go on Honda's website during or after this video, that's gonna basically match up with the pricing that I'm telling you on these accessories. Now, if you go through a good Honda dealer, or you don't, some dealers might even upcharge you on these, but if you go through a good dealer, they should give you them right at the price you're seeing basically online, or even some discount on them, depending on the extent of what it is. If it's a $150 accessory, yeah, there's probably not too much they can do on it. But if it's a $1,000 glass windshield, then yeah, they probably might be able to give you a little break on it. But I don't wanna put words in people's mouths either. I work through Jaff Motors in Glenville, New York, and they're usually pretty helpful in getting you these products and accessories for your Pioneer. Now, something also I wanna throw in is availability. There can be some shortages and availability issues, meaning you might have to wait a little bit depending what you order. Usually something like windshields and roofs are pretty much always in stock and able to get though. Alrighty, now let's get into the Pioneer and talk about the accessories on it. Now let's talk about one of the accessories that most people are gonna get, which is the windshield. Most people are gonna get a windshield, but they're probably not gonna go glass. The glass windshield for this one right here is gonna run you about $1,000. As well, this one has the built-in wiper. So for the windshield wiper and washer kit, you're looking at about $500, putting you at about $1,500 for a glass windshield with a wiper. Now, most people don't go this route, and it's very rare that they do, so most people are gonna go with a two-piece poly windscreen, which is gonna run you about $600. Now, of course, if you do go poly, maintenance is gonna be a little higher maintenance than a glass one. You have to be a little more careful when you wash it and you don't smear and really scratch it because it is, you know, a poly, so it is a plastic, so it can scratch. So it's just something to be aware of if you're getting it very heavy in mud and uh, you don't, wash it and clean it correctly, you can really screw it up. Now let's talk about the roof because that is the most popular option by far that I find people pick up. So you have a few different options for the roof. You can do a fabric, a bikini top for about 200 bucks, or you can do a fabric roof, which is about $360, or you can do the hard roof, which is the most popular, which is what this one has. And if I'm gonna recommend a roof, I'm gonna recommend the hard roof which is gonna run you about $800. Now it comes down to the hard roof. You have two options. You can do the standard hard roof or you can do the hard roof which has a gray slash black coating. So that has the underneath of it is a gray layer and the top of it is a black. Now what's nice about the hard roofs and the poly windshields is you can take them on and off whenever you want. There's no screws that hold them on. You don't have to drill any holes when you install them so it makes installation very quick and simple on those. You can install a roof on one of these in easily under five minutes if you know what you're doing. If you don't, maybe it's a 10, 15 minute job at most, and that's really pushing it. 
the windshield, you can get a solid windshield or you can do a tilt. So it has a seam in the middle where it can tilt forward. So what usually happens when people go with the poly windshields is they go with the tilt option so they can open it up and allow for some extra airflow into the cabin when it's hot during the summer. But that mounts on just with some C clamps just like the roof does. So you can take that on and off in about 30 seconds. So if it's real hot in the summer and you wanna get extra airflow through there, you can take it right out if you wanted. Now talking about doors, there's a few different ways you can go. You can get a fabric door, which doesn't fully replace your existing door and mounts onto it. So it's a fabric that goes around the upper half, this section right here. And it has kind of a metal pole that goes around to give it a framing and everything. So it seals up nice and it's a fit. It's a thicker fabric and it has, of course, it's clear for the most part where the main window is, but around it on the outside is a black trim to it, which looks nice. So if you're gonna do the fabric front doors, that's gonna run you about $600. And if you want them finished in camo, that's gonna run you about $700. Now, continuing on with the fabric, you can do the fabric rear doors for the back to cover the back up and that's gonna run you about $600 as well. And for the rear doors in camo, that's gonna run you about $650. Now let's talk about these hard doors. These ones are definitely gonna hurt your wallet a bit. If you wanna get the hard front doors, they're gonna run you about $3,600. But boy, are they nice. Now for the money, you are getting a lot here. You have rubber gasketing around the whole outside trim of the door to keep a nice, completely sealed finish. As well, these help detonate sound noise from outside, keeping your cabin a little bit more quiet. You have a glass front window there. And of course your main window, which you can roll up and down, is completely glass as well. And as we finish up around the doors here, you can find side rear view mirrors which are gonna run you about $160. Now, one of my favorite accessories is this giant rear hard panel right here, which is your hard mid rear panel assembly. You can get this, of course, in the standard black, and you can as well get this in that gray slash black like the roof. So the inside lining where your main cabin is, your driver's gonna be, is all gray finished, and the back, where your back seats are back here, is gonna be finished in black. Now, in terms of price, this is gonna run you right around $700. Alrighty, now let's talk about the other accessories that you're gonna find on the front of this one. Starting off with those aluminum AM guards. Now, this machine has it on the front and the rear. So the front ones are gonna run you about $240, and for the rear, it's gonna run you about $265. And these are quite nice the way Honda has these. Some nice coverage spread around, mounts around those bottom of those A-arms. Now you can get a giant aluminum skid plate that goes along the middle of the machine underneath as well, which is about $500. Another nice accessory you're gonna find on this one that might not stand out right away is this has the extended fender flares, which is this piece right here. The standard ones where the seam is, is where they traditionally end. What's nice about these is when you have the colored plastics on the sides for the deluxe, forest, trail edition ones on the new Pioneers, is what this does is it prevents any kind of rock from hitting these panels and scratching them and scuffing them up. So for those fender flares, they're gonna run you about 200 bucks. One giant accessory, which stands out if you know these Pioneer models, is this giant brush guard going along the front of it. The normal bumpers are not anywhere near that big. They don't cover the headlights or anything like that. They just have a normal bull bar that goes about here and along. So all of this up here is a specialty accessory for the front bumper. Now, of course, when you buy this, it's the entire front bumper assembly that you buy. So this whole piece right here is all one assembly. So for that right there, it's gonna run you about $430. So this is also, of course, like everything else, a Honda accessory. The worn winch for just the winch is gonna run you about $500. Now on top of that, you have to buy the specialty Honda winch mount kit, which includes all the mounting brackets and et cetera to mounting this winch into this machine specifically, which is gonna run you just under $400. So definitely not a cheap setup, but a very reliable and high quality setup for the money. Let's move around to the back. Now, as of course the front has the giant bumper, the rear needs it. So the rear 
is this giant lower bar right here going across the machine is your rear bumper. And so for that right there, it's gonna run you about $260. Which is of course nice because it extends the back out. If you're gonna be bumping into things or getting bumped into, this just keeps a little more distance between the body of your machine and those objects around you when you're maneuvering. Now, I'm getting a lot of dirt and crap in between the crevices of my seats. And when you flip those seats up, it's not fun having to sit on a bunch of mud or dirt or debris from you working your machine and kids sometimes can get cranky over that. Now to prevent that, so Honda makes a few different bed liner slash bed mat options. You can do a bed mat, which is very similar to the bed mat you would find in the front seats of this that goes across the whole front. This makes a rubber mat that goes across, of course, the whole bottom. So that prevents any dirt and debris getting into those cracks along the bottom here for the seats. And you can pull that out whenever and dump it off and get all the dirt off of it. And when you wanna use those seats, it just comes right out, which is very nice. Or you can do a bed liner, which is what this has, which is a giant drop-in tub that goes over those stills of the siding of the Pioneer. So not even in the doors will you get any dirt and it keeps everything completely off the back. And especially when you dump this, then it makes all the dirt slide to the back as well and it doesn't get caught in any grooves. Now for the rubber mat, that's gonna run you about $160 which is very popular and a very nice feature or option if you're gonna have kids or family and friends and you're moving stuff around but you're also working the machine a lot and you're carrying hay or dirt, it makes keeping those rear seats a lot more hassle free. Or you can do the more extreme, which is the bed liner, which is what we have right here, which is gonna run you about 375 bucks. On top of this, another little accessory I figured I'd throw in to let you know, you can get a bed extender which comes along and extends out, which is like a metal cage. So if you wanna extend your bed out to get a little more storage space out of it, you can get one of those as well from Honda. This one does not have it here, but those run you about $400. Now putting in one of these giant big drop-in tubs isn't the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely not the easiest either. You gotta kinda of bend it in a little bit and it kinda of just falls into place there. Just get it to go around those and there you go you're set to go you can go work the machine and you can dump it and of course the tub will stay right in place there are some hardware where you can have these kind of bolted and locked in more but you really don't need to on these now just to give you an idea of how large these bed mats are that go along the siding i pulled it right out of the side by side so you can get an idea of just how big one of these are well, now that we are sitting inside the Pioneer, I might as well mention a few other accessories I did not mention, which is the rear view mirror. I mentioned, but I didn't show you it. And of course, you can see all the electronics there for our wiper. Here are those clamps, which I've told you all about that hold the roof down. So it's real simple. You basically just undo that and you do about eight of them or so, eight to 10, and you can take your roof right off. Or if you do the poly windshields, it's the same way. So there's a couple clamps here and up there, about four clamps, and you can take your windshield right out. Now coming down here, I'll turn our key on. You're gonna see right there is our voltmeter there, and this accessory light panel, which has the light bar on it, and some other pod lights, and that is the actuator for a wiper. Now, since it's dry and it's not wet, I'm not gonna turn that on. Now, something else to mention you'll find on this Pioneer is this rear bottom cargo net, which shoots across with a 12 volt cigarette outlet down there. The base models do not come with this rear bottom cargo net. So that is also an accessory you can get from Honda on these. Now, here's a nice little accessory that's going to run you roughly 150 bucks. Some people are going to do it. Most people aren't going to do it, but it's a nice little touch if you want to maybe just go for that one little extra touch of nicer look to it, or maybe help a little bit with sound detonation in the cabin if that's what you're going for. So this nice rubber mat goes across the whole front seat. It says Pioneer embroidered in it right in the middle there, which is also a nice little touch. And on top of that, another nice option the owner of this machine put in is the under seat storage box. Now, if you're buying a new Pioneer, you're not gonna run into that and need to do this. It's roughly 130 bucks, but it allows you to have a tub here to kind of store some 
of your personal items. And again, if you're buying a new one, it already comes with the box built in. They've redesigned under the seat on these and made some changes. So there's no need to really think or consider that unless you have an older Pioneer from before, I believe, 2021. Well, that's gonna basically wrap it up for this video. I hope you all did enjoy. I wanna thank the owner again for allowing me to film as Pioneer and this helped educate you into some of the accessories that are available from Honda. And again, if you go through a good Honda dealer, you might get a little bit of wiggle room on some of those prices for the accessory. And it depends, of course, what price point it's at. And again, a lot of these accessories I went through you're gonna find on more than just a thousand model as availability. Now, your pricing is gonna be different if you own a 700 or a 500, they're gonna be a little bit smaller, so they're probably gonna be a little bit less money. But what is very nice from Honda is that they usually offer two different or a few different options depending on what your needs are and what your price point is for their accessories. So feel free to comment down below, give the video a like, and subscribe if you are new, as more Pioneer videos are always on the way. You guys all have a great day. Bye.